Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Noah Shaw or Ford Sixpo and today I've got a pretty special video for y'all. We're going to be picking up a 2015 Ford F250 XL 6.7 power stroke to use as a work truck for the channel to pull my gooseneck trailer that we picked up recently just to use as an all around tow pick. So let's go ahead, get on the road, get this truck and then drive back here to the shop and I'm going to show y'all all the details on it and what my plans are for it and what we're going to be doing. But let's go ahead, get on the road and pick up this work truck for my new company, Prime Motor Co. All right guys, we just picked up my new 2015 F250 XLT and we are on the way home back to the shop and I'm going to give you all a full walk around on the truck but even with these horrible tires that it has on it right now it is driving right down the road super smooth but let's go ahead get back to the shop and I'm going to give you all a full walk around on the truck and what we're going to be doing to it. All right guys so we finally made it back to my shop with my new Super Duty so let's go ahead get out of it and give you all a little bit of a walk around and talk over my plans for it so let's check it out. All right guys, so here it is. We've got a Crew Cab 2015 F250 XL, all white. It's got the brush guard up front. Headlights are a little bit dirty, but I think I'm gonna be swapping this out for a full replacement up front. And of course, being a truck with a little bit more miles, it's got 122,000 on it. These tires that are on it currently are just all beat up, but the underside looks really nice and clean. And walking around, the truck's not gonna be perfect. The only real big issue I have with it right now is the bed is all bent up almost all the way around. So being that the bed is all bent and dented up, it probably gives me a pretty good excuse to go ahead and throw a flat bed on it if we can find one to completely swap out this factory bed. I think it would look pretty sick. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. But other than that, one of the first things I'm going to go ahead and do is get all four of these stock wheels and tires that are all old and torn up replaced with some 2022 King Ranch factory stock wheels and tires that I have that are brand new have maybe 500 miles on them so that'll make the truck ride a ton better and look a lot better too then next up i'm probably going to go ahead and take the little side steps off that come on the vehicle once we get the truck up on the lift i'm definitely going to pop those off so it looks a lot more clean and sleek and one of the other main reasons i bought this truck is because it does have that gooseneck in the bed and i really have been needing a haul truck to do all of the business with and pick up trucks and vehicles that i need to get transported that i don't want to drive or if i'm alone and can't get both also a really good add-on, it has the helper bags in the rear for towing, so that's definitely going to make a huge difference. Let's go ahead and move on to the interior here, and it's actually in pretty good shape, and one of my favorite things is it's got those vinyl rubber floors, so if they get dirty, it's just going to be so easy to clean and wipe them off, get everything nice. But the seats, they've got that nice little vinyl leatherish type deal. really like it that you can set it down so you have that center console. If not, you can lift it up for a little bit more space in case you need to put some more stuff in the cab. But as you can tell, it's just a really nice clean truck. There's a little phone mount that I got to take the radio off to get that off. But other than that, interior and all the door panels and everything are just in great shape. And since the back seats have probably never been sat in, they're just in perfect shape back here. It doesn't even look like they sat anything back here as far as boxes or anything to move because it's just in great, great shape. Especially the floor, all the side panels. I mean, look at it. It looks brand new like it's never even been stepped on back here. So I'm very happy as far as it goes for the interior because some of these old trucks you buy can just have terrible, terrible interior. But this one... It's just great. So that's a really great thing about the truck, just of how mint the interior is. Which is really another reason I really wanted to pick it up, just because it was such a clean truck inside that it made it kind of hard to turn down. Just even the driver's seat, no really tears or rips in the seat at all. Perfect. And as you can see on the odometer, we've only got 122,000 miles. All of the panels are just in great shape. I've got a little missing plastic here that I'm going to replace and this top little sunglass holder. I'm missing one of those as well, but like I said, super easy parts. And as you can see, that radio little holder there, that's what we've got to take out. Might swap in a CarPlay radio or something to make the drives a little bit easier. But another awesome thing is we've got that four wheel drive right there on the truck, which is going to definitely be helping and adds a lot of value to the truck as well with that four wheel drive option. But I'm definitely thinking we need to get rid of all those dents and completely take this bed off and throw a flat bed on it. I think it would look. Let me know if I should throw a flat bed on it or a service bed or what y'all think I should do with that bed or if I should even find just an OEM bed and swap that back on. Let me know what you think. And we might have to even just do some paint match on the truck. Maybe get the headlights all painted out, side mirror, side emblems and badges or door handles. Make it look pretty slick for a tow rig. Might restore all these plastics, repaint them all black in the windshield wipers and get everything looking nice. Ceramic tint is definitely going to be a must for this truck on the windshield and all the way around on the sides and all around just to make it a lot less hot in there. And heat in this Texas weather is just really hard 
when you have no tent. So that's definitely gonna be one of the next things I do as well. All right guys, now that you've seen the truck, let me know what you think about it in the comments below, what you wanna see done to it, or if you have any ideas, just let me know in the comments. But other than that, let's go ahead, get my King Ranch factory wheels and tires, throw them on the truck just to get that little bit of a better look, throw it up on the lift, get the side steps off, and then check it out a little bit more and see what else we can't do. But let's go ahead and come in the AC shop, my dream shop that we finally finished building. If you haven't already seen it, here's a little walk around all the way around, just the perfect space to work on two vehicles. And we're gonna go ahead and throw that new truck on the two post lift just to make it easier to swap all these wheels and tires on and take those steps off. And we'll probably just go ahead and do the maintenance on it, change all the filters and the oil just so we know it's up to par on the maintenance. So let's go ahead, get the truck in the shop. Now I'm gonna open up the door, pull it in and then get started on the truck. All right guys, so let's go ahead and open up the door in the shop and pull it in and get to work putting the new wheels and tires on and fixing some other stuff and all the maintenance. I'm gonna go ahead and get the truck cranked on and put it in the shop. All right guys, so I just got the truck pulled in the shop now in between the two post lifts. So I'm gonna go ahead, get it up on the lift so we can inspect everything all the way around. But you can get a lot better view of the truck inside now and see all the paint and what's going on here. But it's actually a pretty good looking truck for the mileage and how the condition is. So I'm really excited to work on this one, see what we can't change on it and accomplish with it. But definitely gonna be a good solid truck with that 6.7 power stroke motor. So let's go ahead, throw it up on the lift and get started. And in order to get the truck up on the two post lift on front, we gotta take this front skid plate off with the 13 millimeter socket and the impact. Two bolts on each side, then it's gonna drop right out. Yeah, we get all those 13 millimeter bolts out. We can set this skid plate aside so we can get the truck up on the lift. And the truck's a little bit dirty underneath, so after we get done here, I'm probably gonna do a little bit of a better wash on the bottom of the truck and then we pull it out. Now I've got the lift points all underneath the truck and where the skid plate was before, and we're gonna go ahead and get the truck lifted up in the air now. Uh, I always like to make sure and shake the truck a little bit after we get off the ground, and then after we're gonna add our safety stands on the front and the rear. Let's go ahead and get this thing up in there. Had our stand on the front and rear. We're gonna go ahead and change the oil and all the filters on the truck. Then we're gonna drop it down, put those King Ranch wheel and tire set up on the truck, get it rolled out, and be able to be good and safe on the road with some new tires and fresh maintenance to know that the truck's gonna last long. And another thing you'll ask me is how do I keep the shop so clean? Usually when I'm working on trucks under the lift, I like to throw down some moving blankets so if any dust or dirt falls off, the oil just captures on the blanket. Then I can just go ahead and pull them all into the middle and take them out of the shop and keep it clean. Then the other thing I like to do is have the stand on the front and the rear just so we have a little bit more than those four lift points holding up the truck. So I usually just add it to the receiver ditch just for a little bit extra safety. Just like so. And same thing on the front, I'll add one in the front too. Usually on the front, I'll just go ahead and add it underneath one of the frame rails just to keep it nice and supportive. And it definitely makes a huge difference with the stability of the truck so it doesn't wobble back and forth. So big thanks to Sunex Tools for sending me both those stands for the shop. Now, as y'all can see, I've got all of the new King Ranch wheels and tires laid out so we can put them on the truck after we do the maintenance here, but they're like brand new. They're gonna look way better on the truck than these old 11 to 16 model stocks that are just worn out and beat down. So let's go ahead, get everything done and get these new wheels and tires swapped on. All right guys, now we're going ahead and removing those running board steps and it's just super dirty. All the dirt's falling off, but we're going to get them off. Slowly but surely. And just like that, we got these hideous running boards off on the passenger side. We're going to do the same thing on the driver's side for that clean load. Now we're just going to go ahead and take the OEM wheels off and put all the King Ranch stock wheels and tires on. Now we're going to go ahead and move all the safety stands 
stand it out of the way. I'm gonna lower the vehicle down a little. And then we're gonna get all the factory off. Put these new ones on. I'm gonna take all these old wheels off and put those new King Ranch stocks on. Put these King Ranch stocks on, check that out. It's gonna look let me know what y'all think in the comments if you think this is the way to do it or if we should get some forged wheels and tires and get a full setup for this truck or just leave it factory like this. But we're gonna go ahead and get these tightened up and repeat the process with the other three wheels and roll this truck out of the shop. Same on the other side, and then drop the truck onto the ground, and then port piece to spec. All right, guys, now that we've got all four wheels and tires put on the truck, we're gonna go ahead and lift up on the lift and unlock it, drop it down on the floor, and we're gonna pour it in the spec. set on my Tecton torque wrench. I can go ahead, make sure these are torqued to spec. And I'm gonna repeat the same on all four wheels and tires to make sure we're good to go. And then we're gonna pull the truck out of the shop and call it a day. And I'm going to go ahead and pop on all the old OEM caps, just because it's not a King Ranch truck, we get me wrong like that. I'm just going to pop these on all the way around. Pop them on. Just like that, we are good to go. Put all the lift arms in and roll it out of the shop. Kids plate back on the truck as well, and we're good to go. like down below comment let me know what you think about my new work truck and what we should do to it next if you haven't already subscribe to the channel but other than that i'll see y'all next time thank you for watching